Sarach, Ecclesiasticus 29. He that is merciful will lend unto his neighbor, and he that strengthens his hand keeps the commandments. Lend to your neighbor in time of his need, and pay your neighbor again in due season. Keep your word and deal faithfully with him, and you shall always find the thing that is necessary for you. Many, when a thing was lent them, reckoned it to be found, and put them to trouble that helped them. Till he has received, he will kiss a man's hand, and for his neighbor's money he will speak submissively. But when he should repay, he will prolong the time and return words of grief and complain of the time. If he prevail, he shall hardly receive the half, and he will count as if he had found it. If not, he has deprived him of his money, and he has gotten him an enemy without cause, He pays him with cursings and railings, and for honor he will pay him disgrace. Many, therefore, have refused to lend for other men's ill-dealing, fearing to be defrauded. Yet have you patience with a man in poor estate, and delay not to show him mercy. Help the poor for the commandment's sake, and turn him not away because of his poverty. Lose your money for your brother and your friend, and let it not rust under a stone to be lost. Lay up your treasure according to the commandments of El Elian, and it shall bring you more profit than gold. Shut up alms in your storehouses, and it shall deliver you from all affliction. It shall fight for you against your enemies better than a mighty shield and strong spear. An honest man is surety for his neighbor, but he that is impudent will forsake him. Forget not the friendship of your surety, for he has given his life for you. A sinner will overthrow the good estate of his surety, and he that is of, a, is of an unthankful mind will leave him in danger that delivered him. Suretyship has undone many of good estate and shaken them as a wave of the sea. Mighty men has it driven from their houses, so that they wandered among strange nations. A wicked man, transgressing the commandments of Yahuwah, shall fall into suretyship. And he that undertakes and follows other men's business for gain shall fall into suits. Help your neighbor according to your power, and beware that you yourself fall not into the same. The chief thing for life is water, and bread, and clothing, and a house to cover shame. Better is the life of a poor man in a mean cottage than delicate fare in another man's house. Be it little or much, hold you contented that you fear not the reproach of your house. For it is a miserable life to go from house to house. For where you are a stranger, you dare not open your mouth. You shall entertain and feast and have no thanks. Moreover, you shall hear bitter words. Come, you stranger, and furnish a table, and feed me of that you have ready. Give place, you stranger, to an honorable man. My brother comes to be lodged, and I have need of my house. These things are grievous to a man of understanding. The upbraiding of house room and reproaching of the lender.